Years of delays and construction, the North Hero drawbridge is finally done. The bridge provides the only access point for large sailboats between the eastern and western sections of Lake Champlain. Catherine Huntley takes us into the islands to check out the finished project. After nearly five years, Vermont's only vehicular drawbridge is finally complete, much to the delight of drivers and boaters alike. I have a boat here. Uh, it's a perfect place on the lake as far as I'm concerned because it makes it easy to uh, go back and forth from the broad lake to the inlet, inland lake. Boater and Vermont House Rep Trevor Squirrel keeps his boat at the marina closest to the bridge. He's happy construction is done. I was out with the boat the other day and it's nice to go back and forth underneath the bridge with two-way traffic instead of the one-way traffic, which was always somewhat problematic if you can't see around the corner and see the boat and things like that. Altogether, the project cost $74 million, with the federal government footing 85% of the bill. The project ended up coming in millions over original costs, and it took longer, too. Uh, the original bid price on this was a little over $60 million, and because of COVID and the finding of uh, contaminated materials, it uh, delayed the project a good full year. And the project now is looking at about $74 million for a total construction cost. Per Coast Guard regulations, a drawbridge is required here to maintain unrestricted vertical access to the east and west side of the lake for all boats and especially sailboats. Overall, it's been a huge improvement from the old bridge. Um, everyone from the road users who don't have to wait as long, don't have to risk of the bridge getting jammed to the boat traffic. Um, to everyone is going to be uh, greatly benefited from this project. Altogether, the bridge used 7,000 yards of concrete and 15,000 bolts to come together. It's not just cars and boats, but cyclists will no longer need to ride on the old slippery pavement of the previous bridge built during the 1950s. With well, this new structure, we've increased the shoulder width, so you got the bicycles, got more space to bike in, and it's got a concrete deck. So it's a much safer riding surface. The bridge is available to go up and down twice an hour from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day when the boats are waiting. They expect this bridge to last a century with normal upkeep. In Grand Isle, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News. For updates on other large construction projects around the state, check out our website or download the WCAX News app.